So my question is, and the question I want to try to answer is, why are ad agencies and brands interested in buying video programmatically? Why, don't, why, why is this an attractive option for them, something they're investing in? So my first hypothesis was that maybe it's because they really love using self-service buyer tools. And as many of you out there who are vendors and have worked with agencies know, agencies are actually not generally uh, interested in using a lot of self-service tools, even though we would all like them to be, and that's okay. Um, and so here's the reason that I think it's becoming very compelling for them. And this ties into a lot of things we've talked about today. It used to be very easy to find your audience, right? All you had to do was to go buy a very targeted, and I'm talking about brand advertisers buying television. It used to be po possible to buy a very targeted television programming. Uh, in particular, soap operas were great for reaching stay-at-home moms uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and I don't know how much uh, the folks in this room are aware of this, but there has been a long-term decline in the ability to uh, target uh, a large portion of your target audience using television. This graph here shows the Nielsen ratings each year of the number one show. The average Nielsen ratings each year of the number one show. And so it used to be that with the number one show, you could go hit 60% of the audience. Now with the number one show, that's the number one show, you can hit 12.9% of your audience. Okay, and at the same time, prices are skyrocketing, right? So over the last two decades, uh, the cost to buy 400 uh, GRPs, so the, the, the study here that was done was 100 GRPs each from each of the four top networks, um, which is still a very attractive way to hit a large audience, um, has uh, basically quadrupled in revenue. So it doubled and then it doubled again, decade over decade. So, all right, uh, this viewership went away from networks, but we all know that it went to cable, right? So that's actually where a lot of that viewership went when it fragmented. Um, but the interesting thing is, and this is very new data, so I don't want to suggest that we know what's happening yet, uh, but there was a Citibank analyst uh, recently who came out with a downgrade on a lot of cable stocks, and the reason was he's seeing Nielsen ratings of uh, cable channels across the board uh, dropping. So this is showing sort of that, uh, an, that, that there's an 8% drop, uh, basically, or an 8% uh, decrease uh, going on in cable, uh, cable ratings at present. So, you know, where is the audience? If the audience is not uh, watching television, they gotta be somewhere, and so from a marketer's perspective, I think this is old news, now, so I'll skip through. They're watching mobile. Um, they are clearly watching video online. That's why I'm here. Um, they're also using social networks, not just to communicate with each other, but also to play lots of games. Turns out to be a great opportunity to advertise to them. So, I believe that programmatic advertising is powerful for these advertisers. Um, starting now and becoming even more so as, as we move forward in time because it is a way that they can find their audience efficiently at scale across channels and devices. So I think you're all convinced of this, but what's interesting to see is that brands are starting to become convinced of this as well.